Hey everyone, Westy here. Okay, A3, uh, sorry, S3 Audi 2015. So this is the um, up to current, up to 2021, from 2015 to 2021, I believe. Um, I just want to go through some of the challenges with removing the radiator mm -hmm. that you'll need to, to know. There's not a lot of information on it. This is a brand new radiator here that I've got. Um... There's actually three sets of clips that need to be removed in state at the different stages. So once you've actually got the vehicle, so if you watch all my other videos, I'll show you how to actually pull it all apart. But I just want to go through this specifically because it's actually quite tricky. So um, when you actually get to the stage, the first set of clips that you'll be taking off is the electric fans, which go onto here. So this is inside the engine bay here. And this is the front of the uh, out, out the front of the vehicle here. So this is actually clipped in into the um, housing, and you can't see any of this. You, basically, you can just see the top hose and the bottom hose coming out, and obviously the fan cover the fan uh, co uh, electric fans all cover this area here. So there's a set of clips. Um, I'll zoom in to release the set of clips for the. Fan, fan units, electric fans themselves, you're going to have to, basically, there's two clips. This one here, and this one here. So there's four saddles, one, two, three, four. So you'll notice that when you start moving, you, you can actually move the fans a little fraction, that they will jiggle a little bit. But if you have a look at this clip, I'm not too sure if you can see that too good. So that clip there, it actually folds in and it's very, very tough plastic. So to get that out, you need to actually get a pair of... The easiest way I've found is to get a pair of pliers. If you can get in here, I can't remember whether I can actually get into this little part here. But get the pliers into the corner of that little wedge there. And push the plastic hard in and pull up at the same time on the fan on that side. And it'll click out and make sure it stays up. So the second set of clips are by far the toughest. This here is the is the second set of clips. There's a it's it's at the top or towards the the, the top of the intercooler, and it's jammed um, into these two little slots here. Now I've seen some butcherous guys drilling holes and all sorts of stuff from the top and blah 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 so as you can see um, I, I haven't seen any videos on this there's actually a damp, little damper rubber in here which takes the shock loading of the radiator you know the vibrations out of it it's only got it, it's a special shape so it only goes on one way so you can't put it upside down so there's an arrow there and there's a big arrow there so that one there goes to the top because on the intercooler housing, I'll show you a photo, but just here, just in here, is the piece where this slides into. So this basically comes back and this slides into it and then it goes in through and sits in those little slots and clicks in. Let's see if we can get a better look in here. Yeah, so there's a couple of little flat pieces there. This, the, the bottom of this clip edge sits up against that little lip there and the same with the top on each side. So they're very tricky to get out. This here is solid. There's a little hole down the centre, right down the centre of that. And so what I did is if I look at it side on, I got, I'll just pause for a second. So what I did is I got two flat blade screwdrivers. And they were, they, they was inserted into the slot in here, but I put them in one at the top on an angle like that, and and jammed it in like that, and then one at the bottom, in like that. Um, so I had to use a hammer. So basically, to show you here, I was one one went on an angle like that, and basically closed this one up, closed this plastic latch in, forced it closed. Uh, and you be careful because they do break. This one here is brittle, it's broken. Um, I don't want to wiggle it too much, but it's lost a fair bit of tension. It's still together, but... And then I basically... This one's the top one. 
I basically put that on an angle and hammered it in, and basically that, that holds the um, the clip, but not too hard, not too far, just enough to hold tension on. Once you've got them both in together and wedged in there, holding those two little clips closed, then then you can get a. I in my case I used a. Uh, number two, you can use a punch, but this was longer so I could actually get it. So, I basically, with those two screwdrivers in place, I pushed that in through the centre. And then I hit it with the hammer, like, very, very hard to give it a quick shock. A couple of good hard taps with a decent hammer, and that popped it out. And then I did the same for the other side, um, and that that came out. So that, there's no information on that. Um, I struggled to find any information. There's nowhere to get access to of any other tools because this is all solid. And through here, there's no there's no access. So that's the only way that I could figure out how to actually get that out. If someone else has got a better idea. That would be fantastic. I'll add it to my notes, put a comment in. Please subscribe um, and like my video so that people can get out there and see this information because it's really, really important. So if you've got an Audi, a late model Audi, 2015 to 21. So that's the second set of clips and that's the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Love you guys. Westy over and out. So the next little trick is once you've actually got those two white clips popped in, it... You can see that it's bringing the radiator back, but it's held by the um, intercooler. And there looks like there's two little clips here. One there, one on the other side. I'm not too sure whether you push them in to separate it or pull it out. It looks like you push them down at the far end, out there. Push it down and then put some uh, wedge it out to get the, them to separate. So I'll soon see. Now that was really painful. <laughs> So basically I had to get a screwdriver, a big flat blade screwdriver, carefully, in here between the radiator and the intercooler and through here, so it wouldn't damage it. And then I, as I had pressure pushing back towards the, the rear of the vehicle, I then had to come in through the side here with another flat blade and get underneath that little bracket there, that little clip, there and I felt like I was going to break it actually um, so that little clip there and as I pushed down and it, it just kind of felt like it snapped but it clipped out so yeah it's real uh, quite dodgy